Hey guys, James here. Welcome back to Slay the Princess. Time for a new ending. So far we've gotten three of the seven endings, so let's try to get them all, shall we? Gotta catch you're them all. On a path in the woods. You're here to slay her. I know we played around with this before, but let's try... Just keep trying to leave. Or maybe there's one where we just don't talk at all the entire time. Because we've... Right? We've... We've just straight up killed her. That gave us the cold. Then we like... We got the damsel in which was going downstairs, talking to her, and freeing her without the knife. So theoretically, there are probably two endings there. One where you go down there without the knife and then you don't free her, right? And then there's one where you go down the stairs with the knife and then you just kill her after talking to her. Um, I don't think we, we did the turnaround thing, but we didn't go all the way with it. So let's try going all the way with it this time and see what we can get. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. Turn around, leave again. Maybe everyone should die. When I said everyone, I meant everyone. And last I checked, you're part of everyone too. So if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as but fine. You turn around and trick back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're a I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a play, find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's ever lived. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. See, there's the uh, the cabin. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes, glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves but as you focus on your surroundings oh shit that those flickers weren't just a trick of light in every direction there is a path and a cabin and not just a cabin the cabin an infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be oh man wait What's going on? You're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. <laughs> You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. It's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Interesting. All right, we're getting a different ending this time. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that oh, that's different. Is a cabin. What's going on back there? The basement of that cabin. It's like a fence. Is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it is a fence. End. It's a fence because the narrator has placed a thing in the way so we can't leave. <laughs> oh man. I'm getting terrible sense terrible of deja vu. Sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. If he doesn't remember what happened. Yeah, screw this guy. They might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin it. <laughs> Voice of the contrarian. Nice. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. Fun. Still, the world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. You are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. All right. 
Let's go. I have one last one. Yes, Is we know. Lie? Maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore them. They're just being difficult for the sake of it. <laughs> They're just being difficult for the sake of it. The interior of the cabin is odd, the air smelling faintly of plastic, the wood of the walls fitting together at uncomfortable angles. The only furniture is a plain wooden table, its legs all the wrong lengths, causing it to tilt towards the door. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. That's actually a really cool... It's a really interesting definition. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyways? I, for one, would rather have it. We don't really know what we're dealing with here. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? <laughs> All right, let's take the blade. You Why take not? the blade from the table. It'll be... Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old wooden staircase. The steps are warped and shoddily constructed. The air seeping up from below is heavy, oppressive, with an odd stink to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs, its multi-tonal lilt adding to the already uneasy atmosphere. Kylo, is someone there? Interesting. This isn't what I expected her to sound like. What is she? I think we'd all like to know. Me too. You carefully me, me four. <laughs> As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. She locks eyes with you. She <laughs> <laughs> into something resembling a smile. Good lord. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Roiling under her skin as she starts to speak. Oh, man. Her voice pouring out between her closed teeth. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I had a friend. The Stranger. Wow, what a cool ending. Uh... That was a really short ending, but that was cool. Oh man. Um, I say let's do another one since that was only, that was like eight minutes. So let's do another one. Boom. You're on and your since team. we, I think this one's just going to be a variation of the old other ones. So let's try doing silent, just being silent the whole time. You make your way. See if that does anything. Morning. She will love. We're not gonna go through with this. Ignore him. He doesn't know. Like we're not gonna say a word this time. The interior of the cabin. The blade is your in. We're going to enter the basement with with the blade. You take the blade from the tape. Enter the basement. Door to the basement. Her voice. Who's there? It's commanding. Don't let it. F Good. You're still listening to reason. You walked out. She's so focus on the task. Are you here to kill me or something? You step forward. You're oh, no. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? So. You should just you hear the com she's unarmed. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I'm sorry, can we just talk? You're so close 
No, this is a good idea. Oh? Threatened? No. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Fine, then. I guess we're at an impasse. I guess we are. For the love of everything, just or drop the blade. Stare at the princess while holding on to the blade. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Yeah, I'm sure. For goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, something is going to give out. No, ah, oh, no, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I thought we could just stand there and stare and like something would happen. Okay, I guess we'll drop it. Maybe now we can just against your better job. We are going to talk to her. You're hoping to accomplish here. So, this is a pretty awkward start to a relationship. Relationship? Are you coming on to me? Yeah, let's let's just do that thing. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Oh. Okay. Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? Remain silent. I see. A silent treatment. You know, if you don't share with me, I'm not going to share with you. You can't. Don't. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. Well, we can all- Her sharp eye. She isn't suggesting what she is. Mm, what's your name? She we already know this. You can address me. How long have you been down here? Too long. Again. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh. You know what. Let's leave her. Going to keep you locked away down here. That seems leaving her alive is too one way or another. I'm going and if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Yeah. You I'm sure I will. A choice. I've made my decision. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just You're making a mistake. You turn your back to the princess. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Thank God, I was afraid I already committed to not slaying her. <laughs> now we're sticking to the plan. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off. Your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? <laughs> it's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Huh? It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forget it. You won't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. <laughs> Doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No. 
it doesn't. Threaten me all you want, all it does is ease my guilty conscience. So... So all of what was just... So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Ignore her and go to sleep. <laughs> I could be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? <laughs> she steps closer, one silent footfall at a time. The artwork is so good, dude. Organs, shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here. We could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end. Don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2, The Nightmare You're on a path in the woods. You're here to... Let's hear what our second... What our third voice is. A terrible sense of deja vu. If he doesn't remember why... Are we sure we don't just want to turn around and hightail it out of here? <laughs> She's going to do unspeakable things to us if we go back there. <laughs> voice of the meek. <laughs> Uh, are we sure that we don't if we we don't just want to turn around and hightail it out of here? <laughs> God, I love I love it. Is there another one of us in here? You're a voice of reason, right? Tell them we shouldn't go to the cabin. Tell them we shouldn't even bother. You are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff that pathetic little voice to the back of your mind and stay. All right. Oh, don't worry, I'll gladly slay that princess. She's got it coming. Such a magnificent gusto. We'll all be in the clear in no time. I have one last... She will love... Oh, God. We can't go in there. Do either of you feel sick? Because I feel sick just thinking about that place. We're going to die. You should be careful. There's something very wrong going on here. Ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. She's just a princess. No reason to get all freaked out. Wonder what the cabin looks like this time. The interior of the cabin is plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only item of furniture is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The door is already open. Also, look at the windows. There's like uh, people in the windows, like like eyes. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. No, 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 no. The basement door, it isn't there anymore. She could be anywhere. <laughs> it's just, it's just a frame. Yeah, the door's gone. She's already gone now, hasn't she? And she's 
ready for us. She's been waiting. No, no. What did you do? This isn't how things are supposed to go. She's supposed to be an ordinary princess. Quick, the blade. Go ahead and take your little toy. It won't do you any good. Ooh. I like you. Your legs go numb before you even have a chance to reach for the blade. You collapse to the floor as your lungs seize up, refusing to take in air. No, not again. I didn't think you'd come back. We're going to have a lot of fun, you and I. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. <laughs> Everything goes dark, and you die. Princess Souls. I'm sorry. That was cool. Okay, let's uh let's see. So we have the stranger, which I guess is kind of like a Junji Ito like alien type of thing. We have the the Fury, which was a demon. We have that one, which was like a that was the nightmare. We have the damsel. And then we have the first one, which was the uh the cold, which was the, the specter, the ghost. So we've gotten five out of the seven. Which means we have two more. And I think I know how to get one of them. That's the uh, we do like the damsel ending, but then we just kill her. Instead of, you know, resisting. Um, but yeah, we'll try that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.